Hey everyone, it's me, Mexican Adensis, and today is a really, really special day for Wings fans because today is Aisha's birthday. We've had three Wings birthdays back to back. We had Musa's, Roxy's, and Aisha's now very close to each other, so it's been an exciting week for you guys, or a couple of weeks for you guys, I'm sure, with videos. But today I want to show you guys all of my Aisha dolls. I think I've done this before, maybe I didn't. I know I did my top five favorite Aisha dolls, but the reason I didn't post for her birthday last year on YouTube is because I was on a cruise. So, um, I posted on Instagram for her birthday, though, and Aisha is super, super special. She's one of my favorite dolls in general out of the Winx crew. I always really like her dolls. Also, she's one of my favorite characters. She's usually in my top three. Um, and also, she was actually my first Jack Pacific Winx doll, which is my first doll in general, or my first Winx doll in general. So, she's really, really special to me, and yeah, so this video is going to be really, really exciting for me. I'm going to try to not make this one take an hour like Musa's, but I think I might have more Aisha dolls than I did Musa. Also, in the music video, I forgot to show you my Kinder figures, and in this one, I will show the Kinder figures. Um, and as I just said, here is my Kinder Believix Aisha doll figure. <laughs> and I love these Kinder Believix figures. I think their faces are so cute, and they remind me a lot of their look in um, Magical Adventure, which I really appreciate because I love how their faces look in the, the first two 3D movies. And she's so, so pretty. The outfit is really well done, especially considering... I don't know how much these eggs actually cost, but they can't be over $10, I hope. <laughs> and considering she's basically like a Happy Meal toy, maybe a upgraded Happy Meal toy, these are pretty, like, she's pretty detailed and awesome. Like, the mold is really, really well done and beautiful. Um, there's several fabric pieces. Just, like, the, the amount of talent that went into molding all these parts is super impressive to me, and it makes these Kinder figures stand out. I don't have stands for my kinder figures, so I never really get to display them, so I always like to bring them out and show them off when I can, but yeah, here is Aisha. And then right here is my only other kinder figure of Aisha, and it is my Sirenix Aisha Kinder. These are Kinder Maxi, by the way, if I need to just say that. Um, and this is another really, really nice figure. I don't like the Sirenix set as much as I like the Believix set, although the molding is still super cool. There's actually two different textures on the top, which I really like. The hair is the super, super pretty mold. I'm not as big of a fan of the faces on these ones, but it still looks cute. Um, just, just so much talent went into making these, and I really appreciate that. Because a lot of times when you see figures, especially ones made as like food promotional items, they're always kind of as bare bones as possible. But these are just so, so, so pretty. Um, so yeah, those are my Kinder figures. And I bought both of them from my friend Descender um, when I bought a lot of his Wings collection. All right, moving on. These ones I bought uh, from Descender, but they're actually Doll.Boy's childhood collection dolls. So this is my I Love Dance Aisha. Uh, this one I never really mess with that much because she, or her hair is a little bit, like, it's not as good quality as my other um, wit old witty dolls, but... I think this one's really, really pretty as well. She doesn't have my favorite Aisha facial screening, but I like her outfit. It's one of the best out of the uh, this set um, of the ones I have, obviously. I only have uh, three? Four of them. I have four of them. But yeah, here she is. I don't really have a lot to say about this one because I haven't done much with her, but I think she's really, really pretty. So yeah, that is her. Next. Um, a few of my Aisha dolls here are not going to have their shoes on. It's because I was in the process of moving from my dorm to here and I displayed them on the shelf or in the bin without- or they were in the bin without their shoes. They have their shoes. It's just... I didn't want to get them out. <laughs> I have a lot to do today. So here is I Love My Pet Aisha and she has little Millie on her shirt. Millie is my favorite of the fairy pets, so I-, I Aisha's love and pet is very special to me. This is I Love My Pet, but still. I really like this set because it's just so simple and it's they're just wearing these casual outfits that you could see anybody wearing any day on the side of the road. Obviously, they're probably not going to be wearing crop tops, but you know. I just think this is such a cute set, and it was a really good idea for a set, and I'm really fortunate to have the entire set, thanks to <laughs> Donna Boy and Descender. And yeah, very, very pretty. And I love, too, that they all have, like, different pants and belts, and they all have, like, little details like this rhinestone here. Just very, very pretty. Love her hairstyle. Her shoes are also cute, but they are not on her feet right now. Let me see if Roxy's wearing her. Yeah. So they just look like this. Blue? I think they're blue. They just look like that. Here's my Roxy. She has to sneak into the video. Next up is... Okay, so I don't remember where I put their wings, but 
Uh, this is my witty Believe X Aisha, and the reason that my witty set is not on display is because a lot of them have wonky eyes, and that is the one thing on dolls that makes me not fall in love with them, is if there is a wonky eye. It is the only thing that I cannot look past. However, this doll is really, really beautiful. She obviously has a gorgeous face besides for her wonky eye, and if I had her without the wonky eye, I feel like she'd be amazing. So if I can get one nude and just switch her into this outfit, that would be great. Um, but she has a really cute little headband on. I love the little details, like the collar. Um, very, very nice outfit going on. Although mine has a um, messed up stitch, which I think is interesting. Um, obviously the people who sew them are human and I'm not like, ugh, defective doll. But I just thought that was interesting when I found it. Um, cute little shoes. Uh, so yeah, her wings are also very, very pretty, but they are in a bin. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there is Aisha Believix. My, um... Old Witty Believix set needs a lot more love, but they need a lot of work before I can give them my heart. Um, next up is actually one of my all-time favorite Aisha dolls that I have, and she's actually in my top 10 favorite Winx dolls, usually. And it is Love and Pet Aisha by Simba. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Let me get Millie. Here's Millie. <laughs> I love them so much. All right, let me put Millie back so I don't forget. Ah, Moana! My Pua fell. So this doll is just so stunning. Her face is perfect. Her hair is super soft. And I love the streaks in it. Her outfit is really, really cool. It has an actually like an actual hoodie that she can wear. Uh, this actually has a buckle that you can take the jacket off or have it open like this when you display it, which I really appreciate. Tiny little carrots on her shirt to represent Millie. Uh, it's a little bit hard to buckle this again. Hang on. I don't have a lot of light in here, as you can tell. Um, just such a detailed cool outfit and just all together it looks so good also real socks i really appreciate it when dolls have real socks because they are hard to make not 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 difficult to make but it's like most companies will be like eh, it's such a small detail i don't care but woody really put a lot of love and passion into these dolls and it really shows and i appreciate it a lot very cute little bracelet just i love this doll she's one of my favorites um, and she was also from Dollboy's childhood collection. I think that's all the ones from his. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna be going through, like, other sets. So these ones are the ones that I got recently from a lot of dolls that smelled like cigarettes. So they are going to become customs, most likely. Uh, so first off, this is Believe Uh, really, really exciting for me to have another Believe Aisha because I only had one for so, so long. Um, and I had to buy her a line. These ones still smell like cigarette smoke, unfortunately, because I haven't, um, gone through and fixed them, but... Um, just customizing Aisha, or, uh, Musa and Tecna, who smelled like cigarettes, they're actually right above me, they were from the same lot and they smelled really, really bad, but just customizing them and doing their hair and giving them TLC, basically, magically made them not stink anymore, so these ones I'm sure will, uh, I almost said suffer the same fate, but it's not suffering, it's happy, it's a good day, um, but yeah, here she is, this one's actually so, so cute, and so is mine, mine is right there, and she'll come down in a little bit, but, yeah. So just such a pretty doll. I really, really like her. Um, this one is um, arguably might be prettier than mine, but she is going to get to be another transformation at some point, so I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Um, so I'm not going to put these where I'm putting my other ones because I don't want the cigarette to smell to spread. Um, the next one is Everyday I or Concert Aisha. Uh, she had both of her uh, bracelets, but... Oh, wait. No, I think this is my Everyday Aisha, and the cigarette one... Sorry, I switched mine with this one because this one had, yeah, this is actually the cigarette one and this was mine. Yeah. No? I didn't switch them, I guess. Whatever. Doesn't matter. You can't smell them. Uh, but anyway, I already had her too, so she'll probably get customized as well. Or if I ever end up with an extra Aisha outfit, I could put it on her. Not really sure what my plans for her are yet, but I'm not as big of a fan of the budget line Aisha face, although I could just make her into a budget line doll that Aisha didn't get to have. Uh, yeah, she's pretty. Um, and I'm excited to find a use for her. Um, and then lastly, this one I'm super, super excited about. I think she's so, so beautiful, and she's another one of the cigarette ones. And it's actually one of my favorite Winx dolls in general, so it's really cool to have a double that I get to play with and figure something out for. And it is another Aisha Blue Mix doll. Just such a cool, beautiful doll. She has such nice, soft hair. 
this one's actually in like perfect condition, so I might not end up customizing her. And if I do, I'm probably just gonna leave the hairdo and everything in and just take her outfit off. Uh, because she's just so perfect. I just, I really like Aisha Bloom X Bloom. Or Aisha looks so good with pigtails, even though she's supposed to be more like tomboy and sporty. Um, you can still wear pigtails and be a little girly sometimes. And I think it just looks so, so cute. Um, so yeah, this little lady. And yeah, she's complete. <laughs> Uh, she has a smell coming off of her, but trust me, she will get a good amount of love and you guys will get an exciting video out of it eventually. I'm just, I don't want to do it wrong, you know? I want to I wanna do it right and make her perfect. All right, and that is that for the cigarette one. So now we're going to be going through the ones that I pulled off the shelves. As you can see, there's several little holes. Here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one. It's because Aisha's have been removed from behind me. Actually, the only one I forgot to remove was this one. One, so let's get her and show her to you. So this is my Believe Ix Aisha by Jax. I got her um, the Christmas after, I think Christmas of 2013. And the reason I got these dolls was because I didn't have the full Believe Ix set and they were really, really hard to find. And uh, somebody was selling all six of them plus three concert outfits, or maybe four, four concert outfits on eBay for $100. So I begged my mom and she bought her and the condition was, or that she bought them, and the condition was that I had to wait until Christmas. And I did, and that's how I got this lovely lady. And a few of my other Believix ladies that are still on display to this day are from that lot, such as Musa Believix right here. And um, unfortunately, this lady experienced a tragic accident uh, last year that you guys probably remember, if you've been around that long, where she fell off a shelf and her wing snapped. Uh, it was this wing. So this is actually the extra wing that I got with this doll when I bought her. And she unfortunately only had one wing and it just so happened to be this wing. So I just turned it around and it's not, it's obvious right now, but it's not that obvious on the shelf. Um, someday I'd like to get her an actual replacement wing, but this works. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just a very, very beautiful lady. Always meant a lot to me. Always will. And she has a very special place in my heart. So yeah, that's her. And then Concert Aisha, who is one of the stars of Winx Club Believe It's Energy, my doll series. Um, my, my concert dolls star in it. Um, this little lady I'm very, very fortunate to have gotten. I found her on Amazon for like $12, I think, and I thought it was a really good deal because uh, the Concert Aisha, Musa, and Techno were pretty hard to find at the time, and they still are. Um, so I was really glad to get her. I also got, I think, Blondie Locks the same day. Um, it's just a good day, and I remember just being really happy with her. I really, really like her. I think her face is pretty. It's not my favorite Aisha face, but I still just, I really, really like her, and I'm glad to have her in my collection, and she's here to stay. <laughs> so yeah, that is Aisha. Next up is arguably the most special Winx doll I own, who unfortunately suffered tragically recently, but this is my first ever Winx Club doll, Harmonix Aisha by Jack Specific. And I adore this little lady. She is so beautiful and she's so special to me and she always will be. If I could only pick like one Winx doll to bring with me if something were to happen, I would probably pick her. Or if um, if I could pick five, she would definitely be in there. Um, she's just so, so special to me. And I'll never forget uh, the day that I got her and my mom let me buy her and it was just really really special and she started all of this so everybody say thank you to Harmonix Aisha for starting my YouTube channel because <laughs> this is why well I already had the YouTube channel but starting my Winx collection because I might not have started otherwise and this was just such a perfect first doll to get she's absolutely gorgeous my favorite color is green so <laughs> this obviously was very uh eye-catching to me it drew me in and I just think she's absolutely beautiful Unfortunately, she lost her crown. So if you guys remember, I did a video in a lecture hall that was a joke. That was me reviewing my harmonics dolls with a microphone and like with a harmonics transformation playing behind me on a big screen. And her crown fell off in that video. But I noticed, I got to uh, Ryan's car and I noticed that the crown is missing. And I was like, ah, so we ran back in and I got the crown off the floor and put it in my fanny pack. And I never ended up putting it back on her head. And I haven't found it since that day. <sighs> so it's missing and she's incomplete now. And I'm so, so sorry, baby. <laughs> mm. So yeah, it's very, very unfortunate. So I hope someday by some crazy luck, I find her for cheap or just her crown somehow for cheap, but I doubt it's gonna happen. And I'm gonna have to spend like $50 minimum on a new Harmonix Aisha doll and it's gonna hurt me. 
very, very badly, but it'll be worth it because she is so, so meaningful and special to me. But yeah, that's enough about her. But she's an angel. My favorite. All right, sorry. <laughs> um, next up, just the next one over, is my Sing and Sparkle Mattel Enchantix Aisha doll, who is a really, really cool one. This was my second Mattel Aisha doll, and I actually... So, when I first saw the Mattel dolls, I was not that big of a fan of them. I didn't think they were very pretty when I saw pictures of them online. And I've heard this from a lot of people, too, that when they first see them, they're like... Uh, but especially Ayusha, she would be the one that I would cite, because I thought she had really, like, angry-looking eyebrows, and I was like, she looks weird. But then I got my Mattel lot. I got the six Charmix dolls, you'll see Ayusha in a second, and just, it changed. I was just like, oh my god, she's so beautiful, and Ayusha is actually my favorite Mattel doll now, like, all of the Ayusha Mattel dolls are my favorites, because I really, really like them. I think they're absolutely beautiful. If you guys have like, qualms about getting the, uh, Mattel dolls because you think they, they're they kind of ugly or something, once you hold one in your hands, they're just this, they're the perfect size, they're so small, and their bendable limbs are so cool, their faces are actually really, really beautiful in person, and now I can appreciate when I see pictures of them online, but before I was like, <laughs> but yeah, here she is, and this is one of the prettiest um, Aisha dolls there is. She has these gorgeous rooted lashes. Her makeup is so, so pretty. She actually has more relaxed eyebrows, but it doesn't matter. I love the color of her lips. These outfits are super cool because they're inspired by Enchantix, but they're not supposed to look exactly like Enchantix, so it's this more, like, metallic, minimalist kind of vibe to it, and I think it looks really, really good, and you'll see in a second because I do- I am fortunate enough to have the actual Enchantix Aisha by Mattel, um, and they are very, very different, and it's really, really cool to see. Um, and even just these small details, like the bracers, she has her fairy dust, which is awesome. Um, none of mine worked when I got them, unfortunately, but yeah. These were, I think I got all four of my, I have, or five, I have four Sing and Sparkle Mattel dolls, and I have one Color Magic Flora doll, and I got all of them at once, and I think they were $40 or $50. It was a really good deal, and I didn't know what they were at the time because I didn't know a lot about the Mattel dolls because they weren't my favorites or anything, and it was just so, so cool to get them because it was like, it was like if I was a five-year-old and I went into the store and saw them on the shelf because I'd never actually seen these dolls before because uh, I'd watched Mattel videos and seen Mattel pictures online, but these ones, for some reason, not a lot of collectors have. Um, or at least I hadn't seen a lot of collectors who had them, uh, and I just think they're really, really cool, honestly. Sorry, I got kind of distracted. Um, I just, I think I highly recommend them if you guys can get them. I think they're really, really pretty. Also, the wings are awesome. And they sing! Mine don't, but, uh, yours could. <laughs> Alright, let's put her down. And here is my other Enchantix Aisha buy. I think my only other Enchantix Aisha. No, I have another one, Dal. <laughs> this is my other Mattel Enchantix Aisha, and it is... Glam Magic. Um, this line, I'm still not sure if it's supposed to be like a perfect representation of Enchantix, because to me, they just look more like a Enchantix inspired like glitter fest. I don't know. I think they're stunning. They're really, really cool dolls. When um, these are definitely some of the like most prized Wings dolls. Everybody wants to have them. Everyone's always talking about, oh, my dream line is Glam Magic Enchantix. And I always thought that was so silly because there's so many other gorgeous dolls that you can get for amazing deals compared to these, which people will pay upwards of like $100 each for these ladies. And I just didn't see it. And I still liked them. I thought they were pretty and everything, but I wasn't going to go out of my way to get them for such a ridiculous price. But these dolls are some of the only dolls I've ever, well, fashion dolls that I've ever spent over uh, $40 on. I spent, I think, $45 each for my Glow Magic Enchantix dolls, but sorry, I cut off. Here is my Dreamix Aisha by Witty Toys. I think this is a really, really, really beautiful doll. She was one of the first Dreamix dolls that I chose to get because I thought she looked so, so pretty, and I was right. She's beautiful. Uh, just really, really cool. I love her in these colors. She doesn't really get to have a lot of pink in her outfit often, so it's nice to see this. Her wings are amazing. Beautiful face. Love her with this long hair. Unfortunately, I let it get a little bit messy because I haven't um, fixed up all my dolls yet. Because I just moved here and I'm still in the process of moving in. It, I didn't just move here. I've been here for like a month now. But, you know. <laughs> uh, 
isn't she just so so pretty i've heard so many good things about this doll and everybody's right she's gorgeous and these are still pretty are relatively easy to find so i recommend if you guys are looking for a winx doll even if it's not aisha the dreamix dolls came out relatively recently and you should get them before they're gone because uh winx dolls tend to skyrocket in price for absolutely no reason when they're not in stores anymore <laughs> uh but yeah very very pretty little lady i love her face uh she's very photogenic as well um i don't really know what else to say other than queen <laughs> um here is butterflix aisha and she is a particularly special little lady um, okay, so I actually really like Butterflix. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I think it's really, really cool. Um, and I really wanted the Butterflix dolls when they came out, but I could not get them. And it was really, really agitating to me. I didn't know how to get them from overseas. My mom was like, you don't need them from overseas. Jack Specific dolls are, well, she didn't say Jack Specific, but you know, you can get these ones in the stores. Like, why do you need them from overseas? And I was like, I just want them. Uh, and they were very expensive. So it was really hard for me. And then, uh, my one of my best friends disney descender who i did uh yeah one of my uh, one of my best friends disney descender offered to sell me these dolls um it was i think um it was this one uh musa and stella yeah stella musa and aisha from butterflix he offered to sell them to me and i was like yes absolutely and he sold them all to me for 70 dollars, and then sent me a mattel doll as a present and i will never forget how special that was to me and i was so excited about it guys and i still love these dolls so so much and they're extra special because they came from him and it was the first time we had ever talked and that's just super super significant and cool to me and aisha's my favorite out of those ones uh I Stella, I really like the Stella doll, but her bangs always drive me crazy, like a lot of Woody Stellas do. And Musa's absolutely beautiful, but I just tend to prefer Aisha over Musa. No offense to Musa fans, just Aisha is my favorite. Um, well, higher in my favorites list than Musa, but she's such, such a pretty, pretty doll. And I like her a lot, and it's just really, really cool to almost have the complete set now, because I just pined after them for so long and was really, really frustrated that I couldn't get them from Europe. Um, but now I actually know how to order from Europe, and <laughs> I've come a long way. Um, before you judge me, I was like 15 when they came out, I think. Maybe 16. I was relatively young. Didn't know a lot about buying things online, because I didn't really buy things online until I started collecting Winks. So yeah. Next up is my Style Magic Aisha doll. She is really really pretty um one of my favorite pictures disney center has taken because i bought her from him and also one of my favorite pictures that i have taken of um my wings dolls are of this doll she's just really really pretty um mine's hair is not as curly as it was because i really need to like fix it it's getting kind of dry but she's just so so pretty face is beautiful hair is beautiful i love the streaks that they put in her hair they gave her the redder brown and the chocolate brown and it makes this really nice reddish effect in her hair which i appreciate a lot very very pretty outfit with, lo with lots of details and these layers so cool she's not wearing her shoes but they're just like the i love my pet shoes they're just in a bin uh, but yeah very very pretty little lady um next up um is this is my charmix aisha but she's not wearing her um charmix because i don't want to lose them so she hasn't been wearing them since i got her but i know where they are um one of my charming dolls is missing her actual charmix and one is missing the purse and i think aisha's missing her purse i don't quite remember but uh really really love this lady she i bought so i was a member of the monster high for it well i am but i don't really go on there anymore but i had a signature with a gift from magical adventure and i wrote you should sell me your wing dolls as like a joke um, because I loved Wings dolls on the Monster High forum, and then somebody DM'd me and offered to sell me their Charmix dolls, and I just about died, and I got all six of them for $50, and it was really, really special, um, and I just couldn't believe it when they got here. They were my first actual Mattel dolls. I had three that were, um, from a thrift store, and they were in horrible condition and didn't have their, like, stuff, but when I got these ones with their accessories and their full outfit, I couldn't believe it. They are so beautiful really really cool faces their outfits are unbelievable i really really love their outfits 
super nice hair. It's soft. It's really interestingly styled. Look at these boots. Just, I really, really like them. And Aisha instantly was one of my favorites, even though I always thought I would not like Mattel Aisha dolls. How funny. <laughs> but yeah, very, very cool little lady. I really, really like her. Um, so yeah, that is her. Next up, we have my Forever Fashion Aisha by Witty Toys. I got her from Disney Center's collection as well, and I'm really, really grateful to him for selling her to me because I usually go for the fairy lines because I can't really get a lot of Winx dolls, although clearly I have been able to, but I try to go for the fairy lines first because they're my favorites, and the everyday lines kind of get pushed to the back burner for me, hence why I have so many fairy dolls, but he sold me a lot of his everyday lines, and that's why I was able to acquire so many of them. And that's how I got this lady, and I never in a million years would have picked up the Forever Fashion Dolls. But now that I have them, they are some of my favorites, especially Aisha. Look at her. Her hair, by the way, has been like this since he sent her to me, and he took a really, really pretty... Or maybe that picture that I thought was Style Magic might have been this doll. I'm not... I don't remember. I just remember how pretty her face looked, and it looked just like this. And just so, so gorgeous. I love the... Um, I think it's like a faux velvet outfit. I love the oil slick uh, pattern they have on their skirts. I think it's really, really cool. Their leggings are super nice. I love the metallic shoes, even though there's another instance of those Bleavik shoes coming back. Just, isn't she pretty? I really, really like her. Also, she came with roller skates. Yeah, I love roller skates. <laughs> All right. Next up is Sirenix Aisha by Jack Specific. This is, unfortunately, one of my least favorite Jack Specific dolls. Uh, it's not Jack Specific dolls, but my least favorite of the Sirenix line. And um, I really like her hair, I like her outfit, I like her wings, I like her shoes, I like her color scheme, I like the blue streaks, I just don't like this color lipstick, I don't know what it is, but that being said, she still is an absolutely gorgeous doll, don't get me wrong, I still really, really like her. These aren't her wings. Is she wearing Tecna's wings? Did I do it? <laughs> I swear I do it every time. It was like, her wings don't look right. Yeah, so uh, those purple wings that are on Tecna right there are actually Aisha's wings. I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> I just instinctively am like, these wings go on any shape, even though they don't. Anyway, <laughs> she still is really, really pretty, even with the wings that aren't hers. <laughs> but yeah, there's Sirenix, Aisha. Uh, next, this one was a, I don't know if he sent her to me as a present when I bought other things from him or if she was one that I bought. I think I bought her. I think I specifically bought her from him. But uh, this was another doll I got from Disney Center's collection, and it's one that I probably wouldn't have picked up because I already had Charmix Aisha, but I like this one better. <laughs> this is my- oh. This is, uh, is this season one? I think- no, oh my god, it's obviously not season one. This is Pixie Magic Aisha. Why am I blanking on this? Pixie Magic have the eyelashes. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Pixie Magic has eyelashes, season one does not, but they both do the light up thing. This is- and there's no season one Aisha, so that was obvious. <laughs> this is Pixie Magic Aisha by Mattel, and I think she's so, 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 so cute. Look at her pretty face, I love the eyelashes. Uh, mine kind of has a wonky eye, but it just makes her look like she's doing an expression with her eyebrows, so I don't mind it. Um, I love the tinsel in her hair, I love her wings. I, I've always loved uh, Aisha's Charmix, it's one of my favorites. And, uh... The wings light up, which is cool, and they light up red like that. It looks better in person, but on camera it kind of just looks like it's only lighting up on the back. Uh, and the outfit is a lot different. Where did I put Charmix? Here she is. The outfit is, like, a surprising amount different than this doll, considering they could have just copied and pasted it, which I really appreciate, because not a lot of doll lines do that. Because uh, even the China-exclusive Witty dolls that were released way after the actual Witty Lovix dolls, they have the same outfits. Not exactly the same, but they just went with the same patterns and everything, and Mattel didn't do that, like, a year apart, which is awesome. Um, not saying that I don't like the Lovix China Exclusive Dolls, but I'm just saying that that's common in doll lines and I don't mind it or anything, but, you know. <laughs> and here is Fairy School Aisha, who is another really, really cool one. Aisha looks so good in everyday lines. Doesn't she? Also, uh, mine, I need to iron her skirt because for some reason it has like a slipped hem, so it does this, and I can never get it to sit back down. Uh, it's just a very um, frayy fabric, I think. I love these dolls, They have, so and these are other ones that I definitely would not have gotten if it weren't for Disney Center, so I appreciate it. Also, they were stars of a Winx series, which is cool. Um, 
and they're just so pretty. Look at the pretty face and the big awesome hair. And those shoes are so cute, even though they all have the same ones. I think they're very cute. I like them a lot. And uh, very, very grateful to my friend Disney Center for letting me buy a lot of his Wings collection because it's where a lot of these special witty dolls especially came from. Uh, here is uh, my China exclusive Aisha uh, Believix doll. So because my witty Believix has her unfortunate eye problem, this one is really cool and special to me uh, because she's what could have been. I also prefer these wings to the witty ones. Or these are witty, but the old witty. Um, because I just really, really like how sparkly they are. I love the holographic paper. I love the Jack Specific style with the glitter. I love that, even though uh, people probably don't like that because it means you can't photograph them from the back. I think it's so, so cute. Um, just all these details are really fun. And even though it's basically, like, in spirit, it's the exact same outfit. Well, obviously it's based on the same outfit, but I mean it's just, like, very similar pattern. It's actually pretty different for this one, which is cool. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. I think she's really, really cool, and I'm really grateful that I could get these dolls all the way from China because <sighs> uh, it's definitely not something I would have been able to do early in my collecting days, and I think they're gorgeous. And that's one of my favorite things about collecting Lynx dolls is that you can get them from all over the world, and I have like a story for each one, and it's just really, really special, and they all have a story to tell. Uh, here is one of my most recent ones, which I bought from the Netherlands, and uh, I have a video on that on my channel very recently, so it should be easy to find, and it is Charmix Aisha, or it is Magic Wings, but I think the line was called Charmix, and she is by uh, Old Witty, because you can see by her face, and I love her. Unfortunately, she's missing part of her wing, but it's not really something I care about that much, and in pictures you can disguise that really easily. Oops, she is slipping her underwear. Uh, I really, really like her. I love all the different interpretations of different outfits, so it's always exciting to me when I can get multiple versions of the same character, and um, Aisha didn't get to be in Jack Specific Believix, so- Believix, guys. Jack Specific Charmix, so this is my only other Charmix one that's not by Mattel, so it's pretty cool. And I really, really like her. I love her uh, crimped hair here, or curly. I'm not really sure how they achieved that level of curl, but I think it's super pretty. Her hair is soft. It's not as soft as the others, but it's still very soft. Love this facial screening. None of my other Aisha dolls by Witty have this facial screening, and I think it's gorgeous. This is definitely one of my favorite Aisha dolls now. Um, I like her little shoes, even though they're just the Bleavik shoes, but they actually fit this design, so it's fine, even though they're supposed to be boots, but can't win every time. But yeah, very, very cute. Really like her wings, too. I'm a fan of this doll. Haven't had her for a long time, though, so I don't have a huge story for her. But she came from the Netherlands, which is really cool. Um, here is one of my- actually one of my earliest dolls in my collection, even though she's one of the ones that would have been hardest for me to get. I'm pretty sure these are the first Wings dolls that I ordered overseas, but I might be wrong. Um, it is my Superfate Enchantic set by Joki Preciosi. And I didn't actually order these from overseas. I ordered them from Canada, but it is another country, so it's still cool for me. Um, I don't know how the person in Canada got them, but they had a full set. And you can see the rest of my set back here, uh, although Bloom is on her back for whatever reason. <laughs> um, unfortunately, all of them had really trashed wings, so I ended up replacing their wings in actually one of the most popular videos on my channel. Talked about how I replaced their wings. I guess that I, I put a clickbait title as a joke and it like skyrocketed, it was weird. But um, uh, I remade their wings. I might want to remake them again because these ones are made out of just paper, so they're really like floppy, and I like the new the new method I'm using to make wings. Uh, I don't have any of those dolls handy, but you, it's my, uh, those two have it. Uh, but she's really, really cool. I really like this line. I didn't get to bond with them too much because I ended up uh, getting really frustrated over their wings and not wanting to touch them. But uh, Aisha's one of the best ones. Aisha's one of my favorite Enchantix designs, which helps. And her outfit is really, really detailed and cool. I like the painted on details on these because you get the full effect of the gloves and the shoes. Also, these look a lot like the Secret of the Lost Kingdom renders. I'm not sure if that's probably not intentional because of the time when these got released, but I still really, really appreciate it because I love Secret of the Lost Kingdom. It's my favorite Winx movie. It's right there with them. <laughs> and she's beautiful. I love her little face. I love her little outfit. Her wings were cute originally, but I like these too, even though they're not cooperating. Uh, her hair is super soft and I love the pigtails. And actually, funny story, don't tell my mom. Um, I got these on eBay and my mom, I had to beg my mom for them and she obliged because I told her how special they were. And they, oh, these are by Joker Preciosi. I'm not sure if I said that. 
Uh, this is my only judge place you'll see, or uh, you should all, which is cool. Um, but anyway, <sighs> that was an aside. Um, so my mom ordered them and she said, I, it was either my birthday or Christmas, but I could not have them until one of those days. And uh, <laughs> I could not wait. And I saw the box on the dining room table and I carefully opened it and took Aisha out and left everybody else in the box. And <laughs> so I think I had to stage it in the video to look like I was just opening Aisha, but Aisha was the one that I chose as my favorite because I had to sneak her out of the box. Ah! I I used to be so notorious for that, like on Christmas and stuff, or before Christmas, I just couldn't resist. So I would always like cut a little hole or like peek in and carefully have to rewrap the presents. So I'm really good at rewrapping presents. But I was such a little turd like that, I could not be surprised. I was notorious. Like I was, I was never somebody you could surprise. <laughs> but Aisha is my favorite because I was a little turd and I had to get her out first. I'm sure my mom knew that I did it because I did it all the time, but yeah. I love her a lot. She didn't end up being my favorite of the Super Fate Enchantix dolls, unfortunately. I prefer um, Stella and Flora, but she's still my top three. <laughs> Alright, we're on the home stretch. I think I have everybody from back here. Yes, I do. That's all. No Aisha. No Aisha. There's no Aisha's on the shelf. Oh my gosh, poor baby. Yes, so we have three more left. So here is, this is um, maybe my most recent Aisha, no, not my most recent, I just got Charmix, but this is one of my most recent Aisha dolls. And I was super fortunate to find her, Tecna, and Stella in box at my favorite toy store in Austin um, for $25 each, which is retail. So that was amazing. And she's beautiful. And it's just so, so cool because I never actually saw this doll in box in stores, I'm pretty sure. Um, I definitely don't remember seeing her, um, and I would have bought her if I had seen her, so it's really, really neat to see her pristine, packaged up like this. And she has a proud place right there next to Tecna on the thumbtack that you can see. Right there. You can't really see it because my camera's fuzzy in this lighting, but it's there. <laughs> and she's beautiful. So I actually have three Believe Excitations by Jax, which I never thought would happen. <gasps> Oh, there's a rip in her box. I never noticed that. I just, these are super, super cool to me because uh, they were some of the first Wing dolls that I got and having them back in box. And since they're ones that I already have, I'm keeping them in the box, which is nice. And it's just really, really nice. Really, really cool. Also, it's interesting that I didn't end up with Believe Bloom in box first because I definitely would have. So I don't like to keep my dolls in boxes because I really like to pose them and take pictures of them and play with them and play with their hair. But if I get a double that's in box, I will keep them in box because I, I do like the boxes and I think they're really cool. So, yeah. Congrats, Aisha. You get to stay. I just, I really wish I knew the story behind these. Like, where did that toy store get them and um, how long were they waiting somewhere? Were they going to be some kid's birth birthday or Christmas present and then they ended up they didn't want them? Or did somebody buy them to sell on eBay and never did it? Like, you never know. And it's always really cool when things like this surface. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> really, really lucky find for me. Um, that was called- that was like a video where I found a lot of cool things, so, uh, the title's not that, but it's one of my doll hunt vlogs, uh, they're in the thumbnail. Um, here is, uh, one of my favorite Aisha dolls as well, this is my Believix Power Aisha. Believix Power is actually my favorite Winx line, so it's no surprise that Aisha is- or this Aisha is one of my favorite Aisha dolls, and, um, this is one of the best Believix Power dolls in my opinion, it's just that Stella is my favorite because she has a really special memory attached to her, and let me peek. I really like Bloom. But I think Aisha's probably my second or third favorite out of everybody, um, because I just really, really like her. Her hair is really nice, it's super soft and bouncy. I love the look of her in this. I just love her crown. It's actually Harmonic's Aisha's crown. Just blue. <laughs> um, but I really like the placement of it. I love that her hair is kind of poofed up like that. I think it's really pretty. I love the materials in her outfit, all the different things they chose to do. It's really nice. I really like the shoes, even though they're the same on everybody. I just, this line is so, 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 so cool. So this Aisha is so, 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 so cool. Love the wings. They're so sparkly and cool. And I love that they did a different design than the actual Believix wings. I appreciate that. And yeah. Very, very beautiful little lady. I don't hear a lot of people talk about this doll for whatever reason. I know she's pretty rare, so not a lot of people have her, so maybe just not a lot of people see her, but I think that she's a standout gal. And lastly, but absolutely not leastly, is my Blue Mix Aisha doll. Uh, this doll was a present for my dad. I actually was one of the first people to get the entire Blue Mix set and post it online, which I was really proud of at the time, but like, who cares who's first, you know? But, uh, 
I was excited. Um, because my dad found them at the store, didn't even ask me, just brought them home because he knew they were new and that I definitely didn't have them and that they would be rare. Not rare, but hard to find because people are snatching them up to sell them on eBay, like jerks. That's partially why these dolls are so hard to find, is because all of them were scalped! <laughs> but they were also more of a limited run because they were some of the last dolls Jack Specific did, and Jack Specific went out with a bang! These dolls are awesome! Bulimix Power was another one of those late lines in Jack Specific as well, but Bluemix is just super well done. A lot of people don't like these dolls because they're missing a lot of details that go with Bluemix, but I think just looking at the doll and not looking at how accurate they are, I think she's stunning! I, was, I just talked about her design really earlier, so I'm not going to talk about it again, but I will talk about these wings! Girl, they're so cool! They are water fairy wings. She never really looks like a water fairy. Believe it, she did have the teardrop shape, and Sirenix is water-themed, but, like, she never emanates water fairy, really, which... Um, a lot of Winx, like, a lot of Winx designs do have that trouble. I mean, you already know that she's a fire fairy, or, or I was talking about Bloom, but for Aisha, you already know that she's a water fairy, and she shouts, fairy of waves, but you never really see it in her outfit, and this is so cool and special, and I always think it's fun to see the elemental bits turn up in their Winx outfits, and Bloomix is a really cool transformation with a really cool idea behind it and I really like it and the Jack Specific dolls are a big part of the reason that I like it so much because these dolls are really cool. Also this one and Stella are special because my- so I was supposed to buy these from my dad like because he bought them so I was gonna have to pay him money to get each one but I ended up not doing it because in my head I was like I own the Bloomix dolls check off the list I'm gonna spend my money on other things because my dad will not sell the dolls they're mine so I just have to you know if someday if I have extra money and I don't have anything else I want to buy, I can just go buy them. Um, so uh, I ended up waiting so long that I guess he forgot about that deal and he found them in his closet and came out one day. I think it was like, it's a long time after. And he came out and was like, he gave me Musa and just let me open her. But then later I was in my room playing with like Musa and uh, Tecna because those were the two that I had. And he held up Aisha and Stella and was like, if you post a picture of me doing like this with them on your Instagram, because I was uh, playing on Instagram at the time. <laughs> Uh, he said, I'll give them to you, you can have them. And I was like, yeah! So they're, those are still on my Instagram, and I just think that's a really cute and funny story, and my dad's just like that. He's very generous and fun, and he is also a toy collector, so he likes to help me out. And, um, I miss times like that with my dad because I haven't seen him in a long time, and he lives very far away now, unfortunately, and yeah. But uh, a lot of my dolls are special reminders of him because, uh, he was also a toy collector, so he supported me a lot in toy collecting. Um, several more of these dolls probably came from him. I just- yeah, Cyrenix I got while I was with him. It's just that, um, I didn't bring it up, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. So yeah, there's all my Aisha dolls. I know that was a lot. I counted earlier, but I forgot how many I had, but I think I had like 24 or 25. Uh, I can count again, I guess. Uh, three, four, five, s or Not gonna count the Kinder figures, because I didn't from you, so okay, that's four. I have 26 Aisha dolls. I think I might actually have more Aisha dolls than me, so that is interesting. Uh, so yeah, that is them. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and let me know who your favorite um, Aisha doll from my collection or from your collection is. I know a lot of you guys don't collect wings or have a lot of them, so you just tell me what yours is if you don't happen to have an Aisha that you love. Um, but yeah, Aisha is a super, super special fairy. She's very, very beautiful. I love that they added her in season two, and her storyline was so, so cool. And um, my first exposure to Winx was the Quest for the Codex game, which is about season two. So I was, uh, Aisha's always been on my radar because of that. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say except happy, happy birthday, Aisha. Hope you have a good day, even though you don't technically exist. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I wonder why they have so, like, I think they were going for, ha like, the characters having certain zodiac signs, that's probably what they were doing, but like, it's interesting to me that uh, three of their birthdays are so close. Although, uh, Roxy's birthday is, like, it's uh, unconfirmed and Winx never posts about it, so we still don't really know if that's her birthday or not. <laughs> um, but it'll always be June 9th to me. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. For real this time, bye!